hairbrushes. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Singing Carly Rae Jasmine. Yeah. Is that is that a real person? I don't know why I came up with that. Jepson. Okay. That, I think it's Jepson. That works too. But uh, I, I think uh, what seeing her get into the Jabberwockies because I've 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 liked them and known them for for a while. They were uh, on America's Best Crew. A B C D C B C. That's, some, that's a show. It was a show. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm tripping off of. They were, they won the first season of it. America's best, uh, America's <laughs> best dance crew. That's what it was. Right. A B D C, and they rock, man, and they have their own show out in Las Vegas. I mean, but <clears throat> but we're here right now, so let's get there, man. Welcome to Three Crafty Bastards, of course. I'm B Smith, Mr. Classic. Yeah. Uh, did you do the Wakanda thing? Do you do that to people in public instead of shaking hands? Yes. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, agreed, agreed. So before this whole thing went down at work, uh, like you know, I would like give people fist bumps and that kind of thing. You know, you're always cordial with the people that you work with, and I would walk up to them and be like, "Hey, yep. you gotta <laughs> like, give them the guns, right?" The, the fawn. Hey. I would either give them the fawn's fingers or I'd be like, "Hey, man." Yep. You know, peace sign, whatever, low peace sign. I've done it like it's just it's like very few people at the grocery store. You're like, you've ever done like a hey, what's up? Mom's like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't get don't get too close. These arms come out. Everybody's yeah. not gonna sit there and be like and do it. And one when they do it back, that's like, oh my god, this is just the best thing. Ever. <laughs> and it's almost like you invented it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've only gotten maybe like one back. Mm. People like I'm like, what is he? What? When I got one back, I was like, yes! Yeah. You flex on them? It did. You it flex on so everybody good. in the grocery store. Like, you know what? We we are there. Nice. We are there. <laughs> so so why not just do that? Like, Well, because then they're thinking, what are you watching me for? Right, right. <laughs> but right. Yeah, I want to see how many ranches you take. People are hoarding right now, you know? Right. So, of course, we're three crafty bastards. Mr. Classic to my right, and of course, I'm B. Smith. And we're here tonight. We're going to bring you some beer review Something special tonight. I'm excited about this. I'm excited for this guy because I've had this before. Because I had to taste it. Why? Because I made it. Uh, and this right here and this unlabeled bottle is my, not my first cider, <clears throat> but probably like my first controlled cider. Mm. Uh, and we are calling it Apricotty Hottie. How'd you come up with the name? It just came to me. Oh. <laughs> if we're being Where'd honest. Where'd the hottie come from? That's, I, the, dude, that's the alluring I, part that okay. I'm, like, excited about. So, okay, so here's the thing, man, is this is an apricot, uh, an apricot-flavored cider, right? So, apricot that's where that came from. The hottie part is just because I thought that this was, in comparison to some of the other ciders that I've made, like, I, I've i made cider using uh, pasteurized apple mm -hmm. cider, and then adding sugar to it, and then getting it to ferment, and then, you know, I made a I made a batch that was just regular, just plain as an experiment, and it worked. And then I made another batch that was an experiment that was dry hopped yeah. uh, with God, what did I use? Uh, UK Fuggle hops. So I used Fuggle hops on I that. Love that name. Uh, and then this one, this one was more controlled because it was like concentrate that you could buy, right? So I bought the concentrate, and then I kind of added my own kind of spin on things, and I added the flavoring, and I did some different things with it while it was uh, curing or fermenting or yep. whatever. And when I finally drained it and bottled it, uh, my girlfriend was helping me, of course, and she's like, well, what are you going <clears> to <throat> call it? And I'm like, well, it's apricot, so apricotty. And then I was like, man, this is one of the clearest, crisp ciders and when you open this, you have to really be careful because the first one that I opened, I opened it, I turned around, I turned back, and it's it's bubbling over the top. Yeah. Right. But it's sexy, man. It's it's clear. Uh, it it doesn't have a bunch of that uh, um, sediment and stuff like that. Like I feel like this is a a nice crisp clear drink. And I'm excited. I, I, to see yeah, color. yeah. I hope you are are gonna enjoy it. So, without further ado, man, let's <laughs> let's go ahead and open this this bad boy up. I'm gonna let you open yours first. That way you can get that poured, because uh, you're gonna want to get it poured pretty quick. So, apricotty hottie. Uh, I'm actually really proud of this one. I feel like oh, look at the the, the last one. Oh wow, Mr. Classic kind of oh 
made his way through because he doesn't necessarily enjoy Hold on a second. Uh, IPAs. Let me show this off. Uh, the color on there. Yeah. The that, nice, the nice, what, the nice gold. That's that's what cider is supposed to be, right? When you buy it, isn't it supposed to be like that? Yeah. Yeah. Look so, how gold that is. So that's another thing that really excited me about this was that uh, the the color, the way it came out. Wow. No sediment. That that effervescence of it, man, wow. uh, and letting it cure the way that it did, man, really kind of impressed me. And I'm really kind of proud of it. I'm really, actually, I'm not kind of proud. I am proud of this one. Wow. So let's hope that the taste holds up That's a um, to the presentation. So Apricotty Hottie, 5.2% cider, made it myself. Uh, I said it, it's got apricot flavoring. No hops were included in the making of this cider, which means it's in this guy's wheelhouse. And then it, it supposedly is only supposed to take about a week to cure before you can bottle. Uh, I let it go for two. Mm. And then I kind of did my thing with it. And I <clears> filtered <throat> it. And then I bottled it. And then I let it set for another week. Mm -hmm. uh, and and then uh, it's set for an additional week because I can't drink it all at once. And here we are, fresh bottles, straight from the kitchen. B. Smith, Apricot Hottie. Man, please give this a try. I'm excited for It's like we bought it at the store. Or right. We went to a bar and got this. Right. This tastes like you can you should have bought this. Right. And you made it. Yeah. So out of your own creativity, by your own two hands and creativity, you've made something that should be sold in, in a bar. Yeah. I, I feel like that as well. <clears throat> that is pretty amazing. Very nice. I, pretty I am, amazing. I am so glad. This is the first time he's had it. I've That's, had it before. It's very good. Uh, but this is the first time that Mr. Classic has had it. And I'm, I'm glad to get an original reaction on film. I haven't had a bad review on this yet uh, because I've actually kind of passed this out to friends. Like, hey, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And my one buddy, he came by last week. I know we're supposed to be on quarantine, man. But we, <laughs> you know what? It's like, hard to be on quarantine. It, it is, man. And social interaction, like I limit my social, my social interaction to about three friends. Yep. One, Juan, Adam. That's it. Right? Yep. But... Uh, he came by and he was like, uh, he's, I said, hey, man, try the cider out that I just made, man. I really want you to try this. And so he tried it and he's like, hey, man, can I get, can I get some of that? And I was like, yeah, that's a hit because he don't drink. He like, he don't drink. Wow. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, dude, I'll get you, I'll get you a four pack. And he said, man, save your bottles. Like, can I get a growler that I can return? And I ended up with seven gallons of this. Like, literally seven gallons. I ended up with 24 bottles and five <clears throat> growlers. You know what it reminds me of just a little bit? What's that? Uh, when <clears throat> we always kind of brag about um, our little watering hole. And they've yeah. had the, the, the that pineapple uh, apple cider. The Ace pineapple this cider. This tastes almost just like that. With slight slight taste difference. But it's got the same effervescence. got the same uh, texture. Right. So you're making like professional cider. I'll take that, man. I'll take that. So like I said, it, it's it's been chilling for about four weeks uh, from make to finish or from make to right now. Uh, about three weeks, three weeks from bottling. And uh, I'm pretty proud of this. Like this is one that I'm going to hang on to. Obviously, I got to take a six pack and I got to set it back for the for the lady. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Well, she'll get it in October. I was going to ask about that. Yeah, I've been saving beers. Because you know what I've been looking forward to, we may or may not get to, is going up to Michigan City. Yeah. May or may not get to it, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. So a little apricot hottie on the beach, man, to kind of cool a, you off? be pretty amazing. Dude, yes. Okay. So, man, be honest. Uh, time for the truth. Rate it. Mm. It's got a similar... I, I've got a similar rating as the last one. It's it's. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it a, a four point three. I'll take that because uh, I can't I can't really pinpoint why I'm why I'm giving it a five because I'm not I'm not a I'm not a cider guy. Right. It's a lot of sugar, but this and I would have rated it the same as that other one that I had at at this Summit City. Sure. So very good taste, very good texture, very good flavor. Um, yeah, I got a 4.3. Now, I've been, I've been, 
killing people lately. So that's, yeah, yeah, you yeah. really have. You've been, you've been. Uh... Yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been putting them in the ground. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if I really had to rate this, being truthful, uh, I would say I would rate it a point, a four point five. Reason why is the color first and foremost. Beautiful. Uh, the carbonation of it, which I was really, really kind of worried about getting wrong. I was, uh, uh, we're going to the beach. Corey, we are going to Michigan City in sometime this year. August. Feel free to go if you want. Yep, be there. Uh, the color I'm, I'm really impressed with. The carbonation, which I was kind of worried that I was going to mess up because I called for so much corn sugar, uh, during the boil, mm -hmm. which is obviously fermentable sugar once you let it sit. And then uh, doing it again when... <laughs> Don't agree with Corey, Chris. Wait, was that the one that you said he needed to shave his back if he was going to do yard work? Yes. Yeah, he's not going to the beach. No. Okay. Uh... Not with that sweater on. <laughs> no, anyway, I'm just playing. I'm sorry, Chris, man. I'll send the IPA your way, man. I got one just for you. Uh, but the flavor, I, I kind of wish that I would have used... Uh, concentrated flavor along with natural flavor interesting if you know anything about apricots though apricots are out of season so eh, it was kind of like do it or don't yep you know and i yep. did it i went with it uh, it's, it's a good risk <laughs> so i would i would say that this is probably one of probably in my top three and i only say top three because i haven't brewed a lot of beer yet mm -hmm. Uh, but this uh, man, I'm I'm really impressed with this. I love this one. You know what? It'd be hard to rank all the ones that you've made be, um, without without partiality. But you've made different types, right? Right. So it's when you make the different, yeah, right? when you make the different types, and like you said, you're experimenting. It's hard to it's hard to put them. It's hard. It's, it is hard to rank them, right? Because they're they almost stand by themselves. Yeah, it, I mean, if you were gonna. I would have to say that first dance actually aged really well mm -hmm. and if you drink it after it was ready and then you drink it six months later it was a totally different beer yep. and i can appreciate that yep. uh, that's probably one of my favorites is the way that it aged uh super awesome cherry blossom i would say would probably be my second mm -hmm. and that was my second beer but uh the barrel aged whiskey flavor along with Ooh. the cherry along with being japanese whiskey that was actually flown from japan yep. like personally i asked for this because i knew some people that were going to japan and then i made a beer out of that whiskey yeah i mean that's a story within itself yep. and then i feel like apricotty hottie is that strong third man i've made a, uh i've made a dry hop cider i've made a regular cider i've made uh the uh sundays with friends that we just kind of reviewed good, yeah uh but this one it kind of stands by itself based on color drinkability and uh a case can be made for this to be one of the well like you said top three i, I would agree with top three mm -hmm. because there, there's a case that can be made to be number one uh, hey man there's a case that can be made okay depends on who drinks it right right it, it, and it's always i mean that's all beer ever is because this is like like when you talk about the color uh this is this is in my opinion the best i've ever seen yeah, yeah. that you've made I, I think this is to me this could be easily number one Oh, well, hey, man. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I agree. And uh, so in true gladiator fashion, we at least have to finish with that. Three, two, one. Come on, man. You know I'm partial, man. But, but actually, this is really good. If you were, if you happen to see this and you want a bottle of Apricotty Hottie, just ask. I'll send you one. I'll get you one or I'll get one to Marlon who can get one to you yep. or whatever. If you want to try this, you let me know. And then you come back to this review and you post what you actually think about it, man. This review will end up on YouTube as well. So you can go over on the YouTube, Three Crafty Bastards. You can check us out there. We have damn near all of our videos uploaded uh, just because I'll be slacking. But since I'm not working, I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> Who I'm, is really? I'm not essential. I'm not either. <laughs> I was for a week. It was a special <laughs> feeling. And then I was happy to be <laughs> home, if we're being honest. Uh, but honestly, uh, get in contact with somebody. Somebody can get a bottle of this to you. If you really want to try it, get in contact with us. So over here, we're going to keep the party rolling, but over here, we're going to be out on the beer review. So for Three Crafted Bastards, I'm B. Smith. Mr. Classic. And we're out. Out. Yeah.